Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I, I think you just want to, at this point, go, ah, uh, because I think you've broken the back so far of the, uh, the time allowed. You've got 160-odd speakers here, and this is like you're, you're down to the final bit to halfway through. So uh, well done for the energy. It's you know, almost beer o'clock, so uh, we'll, keep it, uh, we'll keep it short and sweet and sharply focused. OK, so I think it's, um, I think it's one of those bits, you know, how do you get to the top of the App Store? <sighs> you know, OK. I decided to come up with the moon, OK? The reason is there's more people that have walked on the moon that have accidentally got to the top of the app store. And I think the, uh, the, the kind of message is, you know, uh, it's, going, it's going to go viral, this other bits and pieces. These things are gone. They're very much 2017 or whatever the words are. But trust me, it's not an easy task. And, and I've stood here and I've done lots of these speeches and I've heard lots of these speeches. And what I always regret is I never give you the actual bits of things that you can go away and do after this. And just kind of addressing the audience, you know, how many people have actually got an app in this audience? Uh, a show of hands. Okay, so that's fantastic. I've did this speech at, well, a similar one at uh, SMX with the, the big SEO conference. <laughs> put there, like one guy in the back, put his hand up. I was like, okay, I'm possibly at the wrong speech. Right, let's get on. Um, this, this statement, you know, 65% of, of, of apps are discovered by search or downloaded by search. I, I mean, honestly, I've had every single agency on the planet discussing this. Everyone searches for apps. I think the reality is, you know, it's going to grow. Your user now goes, uh, hey Siri, download the latest calorie app, or how many, apps have I, how many calories have I burned today? Download the fun game that everyone's talking about. The point is, your user has less and less time browsing the App Store. Pfft, that's never going to happen. <laughs> they want it now, and they want to find you. And if you're not at the top of the App Store, ah, oh, he's left. That was all for him. <laughs> he's gone. Right. OK. I think, um, I think the important bit is uh, we've been doing this ASO uh, and, and paid search for about five years now. And there's, you know, when we kicked this off, there was a, you know, there were no books. Actually, now there's an awful lot of information out there about ASO. These are not ASO ones. I just didn't feel appropriate selling someone else's book. But the key takeaway on this bit, you know, when I become rich and famous, the hope, the require, the dream, it's tenacity over talent every time, OK? This is not a, hey, magic Harry Potter wand. I rank top of the app store. I'm a millionaire. Great. It is tenacity over talent every time. So I want to keep circling back to that fact, because it is effing work. But the key thing is, you know, you can do it. Anybody can do it. Company bios, man, we're tired. It's the end of the day. You don't need to hear me waffling on about my business. You know, there's two sides to it. One is an agency. The other is an app store platform, a search ads buying platform. And I'll wait till these, uh, these amazing people, time management, <laughs> they will say never mock your, your guests. Uh, but there we go. So I think the important piece that I wanted to kind of touch on here today in the, the season of kind of giving you something back, there is a free $100 waiting for anyone that's got an app now, if you want to spend your own money, that's fine. If you want to spend my money, log on to my platform, register your app. I, I'll move these chairs. Use the code Rory is the best speaker. So you've got one laugh. The marketing guys go, take it out. You just look like an idiot. Don't do it. No, no, Rory is the best. No, you don't need a code. Literally just log on, register your app. The platform is a media, it, it is a, a search ads buying platform. I'll let the kind of presentation talk through. Okay, it is, you know, game and conference. Let's, um, two, ga uh, two apps rock up on the platform. Icons look very similar. So we're going to sort of go, you know, which one wins? So let's have a look at their screenshots. And I've got to do this quickly because I get, you know, carried away, speak for too long and show of hands and everything. Screenshot wise, bear in mind, pixels, pixelations all very in. W which one's better? A quick show of hands for Castle Breakout. Nobody put their hands up. According to the camera, half the audience put their camera up. That's great. Uh, and then, you know, Castle Escape, who prefers that? OK. Brilliant. I mean, OK, that's fine. Right, the next piece, I will be a little bit quieter on this one. This is your metadata. This is what the, uh, you know, your, your algorithm is reading. Have a quick read.
Okay, show of hands for that one. Show of hands for that one. Okay, this is awesome, right? It's not up to you, all right? The reality is you are talking to a machine. These are these algorithms inside these, you know, these app stores, whatever they are, and there's lots of other app stores coming in. Your metadata is writing for a machine. It's great the marketing person says, hey, it must sound like this, it must be beautiful, you must say this. You're talking to a machine. Your primary purpose of your metadata is to get your app to rank inside the app store. So first piece there, bear in mind, you're talking to a machine. You're not talking to marketeers. You have to tick that box. It can't be keyword stuffing. It must be well written. But I'll, I'll come into more detail on that in a second. So Castle Breakout one, all right? They got 26, pound, uh, 26 pence, uh, sorry, 26 cents CPA, got a thousand, four, four or a thousand downloads for, for a grand spend. In the same period, this is what the other company did. Got 52 downloads uh, at a dollar during the same period because their metadata was appropriately written, their screenshots were readily available and the clickbait was in place. Right, okay, so how did they win? Okay, now the, the first bit, and this is very much me, I really genuinely want, from this point onwards, that was all just show before, this point onwards, I want to give you stuff that you can go and do now, do it right now if you want, or, you know, break it into that. So how do they win? The first lesson is this uh, app store optimization. Who knows about ASO? Quick show of hands on that one. Man, that's amazing. So many people know about this stuff now, I don't have to tell you about it, it's great. So the first bit to bear in mind is ASO and paid, sh paid search. They work together. Anyone that's doing a, they're paid over here and have their, their ASO over there, pfft, don't, okay? They have to work together and I'll explain why. Now I'm really pleased you all know about ASO, so I, I don't need to waste a lot of time on that, but primarily the function of App Store optimization is you are getting your app to rank for keywords that are relevant and appropriate to your business, okay? So your product search, and I've just thrown an arcade there, arcade game, okay? So that is an iterative list, and I will explain how you get to those words in a couple of seconds. The second piece is you boost the hell out of them once you put them into your metadata. You use search ads, use my platform, or use search ads to buy all of those words, and again, I'll tell you why you need to be doing that. This bit here, your visual screenshots, how are you reinforcing that search behavior? If you're trying to say an arcade game and you put that up, it's probably not really an arcade game, but how are you reassuring that user visually that you are a premium product? There are billions of apps up, well there's not billions, two million apps out there, but, but my point is your visual representation needs to be really important. Some big changes came in in iOS 11. Am I going too fast or is everyone with me? Oh, not a bit. So, okay. Now the most, so you, you must be getting those conversions. The final bit, and I was really pleased to hear the previous speaker talk about it. None of that matters if you're not monitoring engagement, okay? Forget your vanity metric of, hey, I rank for this, and I got this number of downloads, and bleh. Unless they're using it, and you're getting these ratings and reviews, your ASO and your paid search will break. So let's be really clear. When we do downloads, that user must be using the app, they must be engaging with it, and they must be using it in whatever time frame that is, okay, which is relevant to that app. So, example, this app here for this conference, if we're trying to advertise it and the conference is not on, it's pointless. It builds up that profile. Okay, right, so algorithm success. Let's, what's my time? The lady said there'd be a time. Oh, I'm not 12 minutes in. Oh, that's counting down. I'm doing better. All right, great. Okay, so notebooks out, this is the bit, okay? And I kind of would have sort of apologized in advance because I'm not, well, I am here to sell my platform, but actually it's more about this stage. Let me tell you what you guys can do very quickly. I've got thing, has everyone got one minute? You've all got one minute. You looked at Facebook today or something, you've got a spare minute. Um, you've got a 10 minutes, oh, it's a bit stretchy. Can anyone actually spare 10 minutes in a day? Yeah, it's getting tough. 10 hours, oh my God. You're actually having to get some serious buy-in from your business to apply 10 hours of your time to actually doing this activity. 10 days, I mean, that's a strategic shift in your business. I mean, it absolutely is. Your whole entire management team or your own personal time, if you're getting 10 hours buy-in for that activity, you better believe in what you're trying to do. Okay, so no big surprises here. The thing you must achieve is building download velocity, okay? So if nobody downloads your app, 
It can be the best app in the world. If the algorithm just goes, you're not getting any downloads, well, it's not going to give you any keywords, you're not going to rank for anything, and you know, perhaps slow down on the development. Key pieces, you must be getting velocity of downloads from your app. Okay, stage number one. Gulp, have some water. <laughs> right. Okay, second bit. I, I really like this, and this, this circles back to this tenacity over talent. Okay, because I promise you it's not going to work first time. You might be lucky, it might work first time, but go with me. Okay, iOS 11, they brought in the, uh, the promo text. Yeah, and everyone know the promo text field inside your, your, your app? I can circle back and show you. This is amazing. You don't need to have to do a whole new update of your app, release your X code. You don't have to do any of that kind of stuff. You can just go in and change the words inside there. And what I'm trying to get to is, Think about your app, what's relevant, what's timely. You're trying to find two or three words that you can put in there in a really nice conversational way that you are going to buy and you're going to rank for. Okay, So something you haven't ranked for before, see them in there. This is a great, uh, great arcade game ready for Christmas. You're hoping to rank for arcade game and Christmas game, as an, as an example. Okay, Then you boost the hell out of them on the platform. Managing your internal CPIs and, and return on investments and all that kind of stuff, but your fundamental goal is to get to the top of the App Store when it's right for you to do so. So as a field, as a, as a place that you can test, it's really underutilized. I don't know any other company that's doing it properly. And keep trying it. You know, Bear in mind that, that bit I said before, you're talking to a machine. Yeah, you're not, I mean, it's great, it's got a sound, but you're talking to that machine. So it goes, oh, lovely, yeah, it's a good app. Let's, let's go and do that. So, that's the uh, ASO and paid, 10 minute bit of activity. And keep trying it. You're not going to hit it first off. We, we have uh, accounts on, um, on Retainer, and we've tried loads. But when you get one, it's free. You know, you're not having to pay for it when it's organic, so you might as well do it. I'm scared about this next slide. I'm really scared about it. OK, right. 10 hours. So I go to the creative team and I say to them, OK, um, I've got a presentation. These guys are really, really switched on. They know what they're talking about. When you write a piece of metadata, what, what, do, you, what do you spend all your time doing? I need a presentation to show to an intelligent audience. And they go and give me this. I mean, how, I mean really creative people. But anyway, actually, there's some very, very clever stuff that they've done in here. What they've done is they've selected about 35 really important things that you need to bear in mind when you're writing your metadata, your 10 hours worth of work. So they're basically going, your character length. Title uh, is 30 characters. Promo text, 170 characters. Your description text, 4,000 characters. Your key string, another 100 characters. Understand and use them all. Okay, put the words that you want to have in there inside those terms. Understand what your app does and what you're trying to achieve. There are tools in the marketplace now, and they're readily available that are free. Mobile Action, App Annie, Sensor Tower. In fact, we've got one on the platform, but the point is, and seed those words in four times. Okay, so you just have to put them in there four times. Sounds tough to do. It takes time, but actually, stuff like this, kiss. Keep, keep, keep it simple and sweet. It's nicely done. Uh, visual, entice, appeal, careful, explain. Have a look at that. This will be available. Think about what those words are when you're coming up with your list of metadata. All righty. OK, now this, this is, um, I mean, I'm quite excited about presenting this because it's never been shown to anyone, OK? When somebody says, hey, uh, what's your ASO strategy? And then they start talking about the ASO stack and all this kind of stuff. I, I kind of get lost in it, really, because I like to have something that I can show to my business or my team can show to me that shows transparency, results, and performance. So this is a proper App Store optimization strategy. Okay, This template of how, and it's very simple, but we've been using this as a business for in about four years. So, well, about five. Really exciting piece here. No, uh, you know, no vanity metrics. I have no. Pl my clients have no place to say, or uh, the other way around. When they say to me, Rory, what do you, why do you take the money you take from me? Well, number one, you are going to be totally transparent with what success looks like. And if you're not measuring these three things, 
organic. Where do I rank before? Where do I rank after? Is it going up? Metric number one. You can use some tools out there if you want to know and we'll tell you. The second piece is, how is my spend performing? Is my spend just going on the word gain? Or is my spend spread across five, six, seven hundred words, multi-language, localized language? And you can track every single piece. And then the final bit is that attributed data. Okay, what did the download happen? What happened with the download? Did they use it? Did they delete it? So I do a piece of work now and I absolutely make sure my organic is being monitored, my search ad spend is being monitored down to keyword level and my attribution is giving me that final stick of information. Okay, so now I kind of, kind of wary of this one and th this is basically a breakdown of the value of these words. Okay, so I'm allowed 30 characters in there. It's probably just my name, it's probably my brand. So I'm gonna get one word in there. You know, my subtitle, I'm gonna get two or three, three words in there. My promo text, I'm probably gonna get another three or four in there. My description, I'm gonna get maybe 20 in there. And my key string, I'm going to put it in as many as are relevant for me. I estimate it's about 29 words, possibly 30 words, that you are trying to get that are going to deliver your rankings inside the App Store. So it's a simple task. Find 29 words that are super relevant to your brand. Then you divvy them up. Okay, and This is not a real one, obviously, but you say, OK, 18% of that 29 is probably four. It's probably four words, so I'm going to allow four words inside my brand. Then I'm going to think about the core words about my proposition. What are those core words? And I'm going to, you know, put in all my words down there. My product in play, free game. What is the product detail about your proposition? Fill your words up in there. Same with events. Is Valentine's going to have an impact for you? Best, Valentine, best Valentine's game ever. Is that going to be important to you? Do you want to rank for it? Yes, put it in there. And a wild card. I've chucked an arcade and virtual reality. But my God, Wall Street Journal ranking for Brexit. Pff, I mean, that's real money in their pocket because no one else is buying it and no one else ranks for it. And yeah, that's, that's, that was a wild card that we put in for those guys. And the final bit is, you know, the community. What's the language? The big takeaway from this point is your keyword backlog. You're all devs, you know how this thing is. You want to have a massive keyword backlog, and at that end, you put your update in, you put the metadata in, and you go, okay, organic, Easter game. I didn't rank for it, I didn't get any spend away for it, I didn't get any downloads for it. Well, stop trying to rank for it, okay? Take it out, move on to your next one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, same process with this fantasy game. I must rank for the word fantasy game. Why? You've never ranked for it. You've never had a download for it. It means nothing to your business. So stop trying. Okay? When you are ticking these boxes and you're working through your keyword backlog, it's very punchy and it's very performance-led. Performance-led marketing, basically. Right. How are we doing? Two minutes. Boom. Okay. They would say never end on a negative. They would say don't do it. So I'm going to try not to. Um, the reality is if you're not there, I promise you, somebody else will be, okay? These, both these app stores are moving up very commercially. Apple bringing in search ads, only live in seven countries. It's gonna scale, it's gonna be global, end of, just get with it. So if you're not there, someone else will be there. So the tenacity of a talent, keep going for that piece. I've got some really bad sentences on there and I can't read on stage. So basically my amazing platform does the job of, I don't know, 20,000 people in terms of the decisions that it, that it operates and does. Only a machine can really keep up with the bid behavior that you're buying on it, so it's quite punchy, but it's so new. My God, it's six, six months old in terms of this proposition, so we're quite excited about it. I'm probably running out of things to say, and I wanted to give, uh, oh, look at that minute left, perfect. Uh, I'm gonna give a bit of time so you can ask me some questions, uh, but that is me. There's my hash, stick, tag, whatever it's called. Uh, and that's it. And I can't do a mic drop because it's too small. Uh, but there, but I thought I'd uh, pause it there and then ask. Oh, and we're exhi exhibiting upstairs in hall, I don't know, level one, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, something like that. Thanks for that input there. Okay, great. Yeah, so that's it. Any questions? Or is it beer time? Deadpan. It's got to be one. I can't have answered all the questions. So what always happens. So what, what percentage revenue boost do you think you can 
get the client? Okay, so that's a really, really good question. If you have no conversion history against the keywords we're buying, and you've got no relevancy against the keywords we're trying to buy, I can't spend your money. So I can't give you any more downloads. But when it really performs as a percentage, 100, 200, 300 percent on top of what you're, what, what you're currently getting. But it takes time to get up to that spend increase. Right, so if, I mean, I guess some of the people around here are indie people. What kind of traffic and downloads do they need for you to be useful to them? Okay, um, I mean, the reality is on the, on the platform, uh, you did magic number seven, actually. You basically need to get past seven. Seven ratings and reviews, seven downloads over a very short period of time, and seven downloads against the actual terms that you're trying to buy. Um, as, as Indie goes, y you are trying to achieve what big agencies are trying to achieve, which is why we've built the machine, which is primarily focused for Indies, actually. Did that answer that question, or did I waffle around it? In a good way. Oh. So what's it actually, in terms of DAU, for example, at what, what point would you be useful to um, Indie? From, from launch. From the off, as in you set the metadata appropriately, you turn the platform on, you beast the keywords that you're trying to buy, and then you build up relevance in conversion history from the off, from the very first. You've got a seven-day window, as Indies, when you launch the app, that the algorithm treats you fav favorably, and it's at that point you want to build up those conversion histories against the words you're trying to buy in that seven-day window. It's a really important time, actually. Yeah. Leaving, going to get the beer, save me one. <laughs> okay, right, any other questions apart from not difficult ones? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay, I'm done. Okay, well, amazing. Thank you very I'm much, Rory from Redbox Mobile. There we go.